All right, <laughs> try number two. You know what's insane about that? That's insane about that. Is my phone is plugged in right here. Like it's been plugged in this entire time. And so the fact that it just died there is pretty interesting to go out there and say the least, to be honest. Pretty, pretty interesting. So we'll give some people a couple time, a little bit of time to uh, to hop back on here. Again, crazy, crazy. I was like in the middle of that and the phone is plugged in while I was giving that talk. And so there's no reason that that should have died. Um, very, very interesting. And I was getting right to the good part, man. Like right to the cliff, good part. Again, it's, it's a cliffhanger. I'm trying to get you guys interested. I'm trying to get you guys interested. I'm glad you're back. Thank you, mom, for being back. I appreciate you for being back. We'll give a little bit of time for some other people to hop back on here because I want you guys to really get this. All right, this is like the... The everything. This is what this whole story, how it all comes up to. Um, it, it always, it always, it comes back to this. And um, and yeah. So I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Like I said, my phone is like plugged in right now, and like it was plugged in while I was giving that talk. So I really, I don't, I don't get why it would have, um, why it would have died on me. But all good. We're back here. We got, that's the great thing about technology is that, uh, my good friend can give me his phone and I can log in on there and talk. So, um, again, guys, you know, that was, that was kind of what happened to me. And so a little, little recap again, you know, the first time that that princess came to me and, um, you know, and told me this is when, when I was with my mom in front of a lot of other people, they, they, they put, she put their arm on me and she told me I was going to do something great. And now I'm upstairs and my mom goes back by herself and, um, and and then you know she goes up to her and and princess tells my mom that I has a, I have a demon inside of me and that I'm at a crossroads in my life um and that if I continue to follow man it's going to lead myself and many others to destruction but if I change my ways and I follow God it will lead myself and many others to salvation um and so I'm upstairs at this point you know and I'm feeling I'm feeling good you know I'm like God just I don't know what the what you know princess just said to my mom like I had no idea about that at all um you know I thought it was just it was just me you know and I just thought princess told me I'm going to be great you know and everything's awesome and so I'm um I'm upstairs and uh, I'm starting to calm down now. I'm like, all right, cool. I know I'm going to change the world. I know I'm going to do this. Like, screw those global elites. And um, and I'm upstairs, and uh, my mom comes up to me. And my mom, you know, if you know, if you know Margot Hessler, she is a she's a little bit of a warrior sometimes. And um, and she's a warrior for small things sometimes. And and when there's a big thing, like when 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 God speaks through a woman and tells you that your son has a demon inside of him and is at a crossroads in his life you can be a little hysterical. And so my mom comes up just hysterically, hysterically crying, um, absolutely hysterically crying to me. And, uh, and, and she tells me all of this, you know, she tells me that princess told me I was at a crossroads, you know, princess told me that if I continue to follow man, it's going to lead myself and others to destruction. But if I change my way and follows God, it's going to lead myself and others to salvation. Um, you know, she's telling me all of this stuff and, um, and, and I just, I just break down crying because I'm so confused at this point. Like, I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? God just told me that I'm going to go to change the world and do something absolutely huge. And now he's also telling me that I have like a demon inside of me and that I'm leading people to destruction. Like destruction is a pretty powerful word. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm sitting there just like, what is going on? You know? And, 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 and I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't understand it because my intentions, and this is the whole point of this, my intentions were right. All right. My intentions were pure the whole time. My intentions were there. But there's an old saying that that the road to good and or the road to hell is paved with good intentions, um, you know, and that's where that's where it was really interesting because it was about six months, seven months, and this is just weighing on my head. I'm like, what is this? Like, what is what is going down? You know, like what what is this truth? I'm like, I know there's a good side, and I know there's a bad side, and I know I'm on the good side. Like, I just I just don't I just don't know what it is. I just don't know exactly what it is, and um, and and I ended up. Um, you know, going out there after, after everything. And I had a night where I was actually in this exact apartment and I was by myself and I just, I broke down, you know, like I just, I got really angry at God. Honestly, I was like, God, like 
I know I'm meant to do something absolutely huge on this earth. Like I know I'm meant to flip it upside down. Like I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. Um, I I just I and I'm on your side. You know I know there's good and evil, and I'm on the good side, man. Like I'm on the good side. I want to help people. I love people. You know I want to see the best. And and I'm like just show me your truth. Like reveal to me like your truth. Like 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 what is your will? Like and I got angry at him. And I'm like just show me the truth. And when I, when I yelled on that call, all right. And I said, you know, like, show me the truth. And I was, I was sitting in my room praying, you know, on my knees crying, telling him to show me the truth. I got a, a thought placed into my mind that was so powerful. It was insane. It was like, I just had all the truth in the universe was, was, was given to me. Like, like the real truth of the corruption of, of the conspiracy, right? People are like, you're conspiracy theorists. The whole, look, you want to see the biggest conspiracy, read the Bible. All right. There's a conspiracy for you. All right. It's like, I had it all. And basically the revelation that he gave me, um, was that Jesus Christ is the secret to everything. You know, like he, he is, he's the everything. And, and everything I was teaching people about global consciousness, about, you know, the fact that you are, you know, a creator truly, you know, and that you have to, you know, you have to give thanks and gratitude to the universe, you know, and all of these different success principles that you read in books, um, you know, and I'm giving people these things. I realized that a lot of them were, were deception, you know, and you don't give gratitude to the creation, you give gratitude to the creator. Um, and I realized just all the, the, the unbelievable truths that are there. And I went back to, to, you know, when I was a kid and what, where it was all started. And it was unbelievable because it, it, it was so revealing, you know, and I had immediately had, I had so much guilt because like, I don't know if you guys ever studied like new age, like global consciousness and like, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And, and there is, you know, there are laws and there's science of the mind and that's all cool and all, you know, but there's, there's a line between it. And I, and I went past the line and I got a lot of other people to go past the line, like probably thousands of other people, honestly. Um, and it's not, it's not something to smile at or laugh about, but it's, it's what I did, you know?